So in this, in this video, guys, what I want to look at are two other significant pieces of legislation, okay, that helped to further employee rights. Okay, now these two pieces of legislation, they helped protect um, individuals against age discrimination and then dis discrimination based upon a dis disability that a person may have as well. Okay, so the first piece of legislation was called the Age Discrimination in Employment Act, okay, or the ADEA. And what it did, it made unlawful to discriminate against an employee if they were over the age of 40, okay? So there is a clear cutoff at this one. Okay, you can't discriminate against somebody if they're over the age of 40. Prime example, okay? An employer, they can't just decide that one day they're going to lay off only the employees over 50 years old, okay? They're making their layoff decisions based solely upon somebody's age, which is protected under the ADEA, okay? Now, the next one is the Americans with Disabilities Act, okay? They're the ADA, okay? So, ADEA is for age discrimination. The ADA is for discrimination against somebody with a disability, okay? It forbids discrimination based on a disability if the disabled individual can perform the essential functions of the job. Now, that is a key part, okay? That disabled person, if their disability prevents them from doing the job, then, then it, you can't hire them for it, okay? That would fall under um, a business necessity. But if you can provide reasonable accommodations, okay, to that disabled person so that they can successfully do the job, then you, you need to do that to them, okay? And you can't, um, you, you can't not hire them. I know that's a double negative, um, but you can't prevent them from being hired uh, if you can provide reasonable accommodations so that they can complete the job. Okay, so the example here, say that there's a person with dwarfism, okay, and they need to be at a certain height in order to do a job, okay, so like maybe they're looking for a janitorial position, okay, and one of their jobs is to clean the bathroom sinks, okay, in your place of business. Okay, well, you can't say to that person with dwarfism, oh, we can't hire you because you won't be able to reach the bathroom sinks. Okay, that's not okay. What you would need to do in that situation is you would have to say, look, we're, we can hire you um, and we're just gonna give you a step stool as a reasonable accommodation so that you can get up to a height to clean the, um, the bathroom sinks. Okay, so that would be an example of a, a reasonable accommodation allowing the individual with the disability to be able to perform the essential functions of the job.